brought the bike into the man cave today. Had a few things I had to get done on it. Last thing that happened uh, when I was parking it last time was I heard a little brake squeak. So I ended up buying some brake cleaner. And uh, I'm going to take care of those, clean those. And I went ahead and readjust them too because it looks like I wasn't getting proper pressure on the rotors. So I just readjusted the brakes. Um, I got my bag in. <laughs> So I'm starting to pack it full of things I need. Here's some of the things I already did a video on this. This is the scallops to get into the tires and a couple of the patches. And here's some actual rubber cement and real patches, not the, not the little dinky thin ones. Uh, I've got my gloves in here. I got my GoPro stuff in here and a uh, GoPro um, selfie stick in there and the front bags I'm not going to go through and open it all right now but I got uh, this valve stem kit in here I got some wrenches in here and I got my allen keys and the other side basically all the tools that I need to work on anything that's on this bike is in these bags and also I picked up a cheap um, chain just in case I have to go in the store real quick somewhere not the best one but it's something you know it's a little bit of a deterrent and this one actually has a connector that connects onto the seat too so they can't just grab the seat and go so that'll go in there and last but not least people thought this was going to be too big let's take a look here let's see if it was too big no not even close to too big this is my charger. Now, see, I can also charge somebody's car tire, motorcycle, bike. It's got bike setting, ball settings. It's got it all in there. And it's also got a light. And it's also got a, a USB port for charging things. So this is an all-in-one device that I think is nice. I'm going to pack down the bottom of this. Plus the extra long cable that came with it. So I can reach from here where the attachment actually is USB-C attachment in case I got to recharge it for some reason and here's the seat I put on I adjusted this today I went on that last ride and it was a little high the way I had it adjusted so I got adjusted down a little bit lower we're going to see how that does this is the no-no seat um, that part of it feels a lot more comfortable I'm just completely undecided exactly yet if i like it better or not but we're going to give it a couple more rides to find out the other thing i did is got rid of those pedals my feet were slipping off i got stuck on the hill you may remember from one of the videos and uh, my feet were slipping off those pedals like crazy those ones that come with it those little fold up things and i got some here that's got the actual post that can be removed and put back in and this is wider quite a bit wider than the other pedals both ways this way and this way. So that should help with that problem. I'm gonna check my tire pressure before I go out this next time. And I'm gonna put some brake cleaner on the pads and rotors and try to break them in a little better. They're really not, I, I didn't properly break those in yet. That was something I didn't even know I had to do. You know, cause I haven't had a bike for so long, but I'm gonna go out and try to break those in this next trip out. Other for that, I think it's ready, and the trip is planned for tomorrow. So, this is going to be a little longer trip. I'm going to get a little bit of range on this bike this time to see how it does. Mostly going to go rear-wheel drive, but this has got a setting on it for uh, all-wheel drive, but it is set by the controller. I mean, the bike decides, you know, when the front wheel should kick in. I'm going to try that out see how that works out. I've watched it in some videos. It's definitely not as powerful as just leaving it all in all-wheel drive, but we'll see how it does overall when I get to some of the bigger hills. Um, other than that, I think we're ready, guys. Can't wait till tomorrow for the next trip. See y'all then. Oh, I did get a new helmet. Forgot about that. It's not a new helmet. It's the helmet that actually was supposed to come with it to start with. They finally just got here. So I'm going to try this one out, see if I like it any better than the other helmet. And then, of course, I got this. I picked up this bag 
And then as soon as I picked it up, guess what came in the mail? My free bag. <laughs> this one's a little better though. This has got some stiffer sides on it, which I like that sits up on their own. You don't have to have things in it to keep it puffed up. Um, other for that, I think now we're ready to rock, guys. We will see. I'll add this to my uh, video for tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.